The Simpsons were never good. It was always subversive propaganda to try and push nonsense into honest, hardworking American homes, right? There are lots of examples I could point to to how Simpson, The Simpsons was always extremely woke compared to basically every other TV show at the time. Obviously, it's been eclipsed by Family Guy and later South Park as being more subversive and more ridiculous, but there's no doubt in my mind that The Simpsons was always, always very propagandish in neighbor, nature, right? And that is why the industry seems so intent on protecting The Simpsons, protecting its legacy, and constantly trying to trick you into thinking the new seasons are good, right? You may have noticed this. Like, the reason I'm making this video, uh, you know, I haven't seen a single episode of The Simpsons in, in years, right? You know, I, I hate this show. I hate everything it stands for. I hate the creators. I hate the spinoff shows. I hate, like, everything that's spawned from it. But, like, the reason I'm bringing this up is that I noticed that a lot of YouTubers, such as that shill, Super Eye Patch Wolf, who is, instead of, like, protesting the violence against uh, the Irish people who are being oppressed by uh, immigrants right now, like, this guy is instead making YouTube videos talking about how The Simpsons in the current year is as good as it was during the Golden Age. And they do this all the time, right? The Simpsons has been, like, dropping in relevancy all the time. People are starting to realize the show was never funny. It was never that great. It was always, like, you know, people are starting to turn against, like, woke stuff. They're starting to notice the patterns. They're, like, not really tuning into this stuff. Maybe they'll watch a YouTube clip now and then. But, like, by and large, the brand has become irrelevant. Like, the only reason people talk about Simpsons these days is, like, how great it used to be. You know, kind of like how you, uh, you talk about how, how your school life, the school you went to was so great, when in reality it was like trash, you just didn't have like the, you didn't have the the rationality to, to piece together what was actually happening to you, how badly you were being abused, how everyone was mistreating you, how like you would go home and get beaten for like not doing chores that uh, you had no way of doing, you know, you know, stuff like that, right? Like you don't have, the, un the proper understanding of the world to understand why The Simpsons, why South Park, why Family Guy are objectively terrible shows, right? But, like, uh, you know, people who uh, – plenty of people are in this boat now where they have this nostalgia for classic Simpsons. Like, everybody just kind of unilaterally says that, like, oh, yeah, it stopped being good after season 11. But, like, that stuff is gold, right? That stuff is great. Like, uh, Simpsons – uh, classic Simpsons will always hold a special place in my heart for what it did for me and stuff like that. Even if I don't watch the show now, even if it's terribly outdated and it's not, it, uh, it does, it's not funny and like, it's not well animated. Like, oh man, I still have my memories of what it was like watching the show for the first time. Right. Uh, people are nostalgic for the show. Right. And the industry is trying to latch onto that nostalgia trying to abuse it by tricking you into thinking that newer episodes of Simpsons, you know, every new season is almost as, uh, is getting better, right? That they are recapturing some of that feeling, that they are recapturing the, uh, the golden age of the Simpsons, that they are bringing it back in full force, that they are, that they are going to bring this back and they're going to make it great. And they're going to like, it's going to be funny. And that like all the years of like watching the same played out boring fit like just asinine family dynamics just it, it's gonna be worthwhile again right if you just keep watching guys if you just if you just keep consuming the propaganda right uh just be a good boy and and watch it watch it don't think about your own life and relationships don't don't think about doing something else don't think about learning a trade or improving your career or like you know don't you dare think about starting a family and having your own you know better living situation than the simpsons like don't you dare try and like do anything else other than like watch our show right watch the show and and get your understanding of the world from these overpaid Hollywood writers and these voice actors that should have, like, that really need to just retire already, right? Like, that is, 
<laughs> that is uh, what we're seeing here is that they are trying to get you back, trying to to get like some control over you to to get you to have some kind of uh, to get you like uh, back into this position where you get your your values and your understanding of the world from The Simpsons, right? Uh, and that is a very real thing, like whether you admit it or not, that The Simpsons like is a toxic stain on society that just plagued the 90s. And um, it's uh, it's thankfully a relic of the past, but in a lot of ways it's been replaced by things that are worse, right? You know, I, I still see people today like look to South Park as the bastion of like uh, – uh, of like real comedy, right? Like, oh, they're making fun of both sides. They're based, but that that's not what's happening at all, bro. Like, <laughs> that's not true at all. Like South Park, like and Family Guy were worse than The Simpsons, right? They were more extreme. They were uh, more disgusting. They were more depraved, right? And the vast majority of audiences don't want to admit it because, and I, I do think this is true. Like, good people simply don't watch TV, right? Like, uh, that is the problem here, that the people who are being brainwashed by these shows, who are being, like, who are suckered in by these terrible YouTube channels who, like, constantly insist these these shows are good, uh, the, the people who, like, mindlessly just watch season after season, even though they will tell you that they haven't enjoyed a season since season 11, we're on season 34, like, people who will just mindlessly consume products will try and tell you, like, uh, it's it's ridiculous, right? Like, it is it is absurd, like, seeing how long this farce has gone on, seeing how long people, like, will, will pretend that this show is, like, some hallmark of American culture when it's really one of the first major things that kind of destroyed it, right? Like, it really just feels as if, um, People just don't want to let the show die. Like, I've said this about Dark Side Phil, but I, I think this is also true for, like, all adult animation shows. Like, all of these propaganda pieces, like, put together by, like, uh, bad faith, like, activists, right? You know, whether it's, like, moral oral or, or whatever. Like, all you can do is not watch it. That is the best thing you could possibly do, right? If you really wanted Dark Side Phil to go away, you would stop watching it. And... Because it's not real, because it has no real impact on your life, it will not affect you personally, right? And obviously there are people who are like uh, allowing their personal influences to be influenced by these programs. There are people who are ignorant about, you know, history or culture or science or whatever who like who like genuinely think that Rick and Morty has like some – some deep understanding of like life or whatever right there, there are people who think that like rick and morty is a legitimately intelligent show right written for smart people right that, that was a legit uh, that was a legit stereotype right that rick and morty fans are smart that that's uh that's kind of how it plays into uh it, it's it's very cultish behavior i think and I, I find myself more and more, like, wanting to speak out against it. Like, even though I don't watch these shows, I have no intention of watching these shows, like, I might, like, do the – whenever people start South, uh, talking about South Park, like, the the specials they do, I might, like, do a commentary on that because uh, I found it interesting how, how people tried to pretend as if, like, uh, South Park's uh, attack on, like, Kathleen Kennedy was based when in reality – People have been talking about this for the past 10 years, right? Like, it's like they're not brave and daring for, like, telling us that Kathleen Kennedy is trash at her job, right? And, like, you know, I, I, I'm told they do this weird thing where, like, uh, she's replaced by, like, the stereotype of what people think she's like, you know? And, like, uh, you know, she's not actually, like, what they – like, it, it's, uh, it, it's meant to be propaganda-ish. And I don't know – I don't know how effective it is, right? Because it really does feel like these days the only time South Park is relevant is whenever they talk about subjects like this. Whenever they lean a little bit into like, yeah, yeah, uh, maybe Star Wars isn't good anymore, guys. Like, it, it, it seems like it, it seems like uh, that's been the case for a long time. Is that like nobody really cares what they have to say unless they're going after woke stuff, 
right? And that I, I don't know. To me, I think that's a really good, uh, a really positive sign that people are kind of rejecting these shows. That unless they actively go do what they should be doing and like actively going uh, up against like uh, you know corrupt Hollywood and like uh, these kind of values and like speaking out against this kind of stuff, that like nobody's gonna watch it. Nobody's gonna care. It's it's only a matter of time. Like I'm curious, like if there's anything that could possibly destroy like the South Park like cult at this point. Uh, I think it's I think it's well on its way to happening. Uh, South Park was relevant longer than The Simpsons, so it's been kind of interesting seeing how it's been like slowly going down the same path of like you know people saying it's not funny anymore. It never was. You know, people like admitting that they're not talking about the subjects they should be. Um, I, uh, I I'm curious in seeing just how things develop going forward, right? Like I hope people wake up and realize that The Simpsons was never good. 